we are here at restaurant Manolo Caracol, where we will be dining later this evening. We are here with executive chef Danny. Es un placer. Thank you very much. He's going to show us a couple of the ingredients uh, that go into the making of this dinner. Let's go check out into the prep kitchen where we're definitely going to be cutting up some really cool things. Let's see what this is all about. Their 12 course prefix dinner menu features hand picked local ingredients and flavors from around the world. And before sitting down to dinner, we were lucky enough to get a behind the scenes peek at the night's specialties. What they do is they go to each farm individually. They get to know the people growing the ingredients to make sure that it is brought up to perfection, exactly what they are looking for to serve people like you and me. Este es un piquillo relleno de vegetales. They're stuffing these chili peppers right here with an eggplant and zucchini mixture with a rich goat cheese to make a good clash of textures with the sweetness and the spicy kick of that pepper. They really get a lot going on in there. So the first thing we noticed is uh, a lovely pot boiling over here and the key ingredient is this Jamaican flour. Oh, sarin. Sarin is the name too. Esto es una, una flor que se come el pétalo solamente. Esto, la cosecha es en diciembre. Esto está deshidratado por un grupo de mujeres indígenas que lo tiran al sol cuatro o cinco días y se deshidrata para tenerlo durante el año. Ahora acá estamos haciendo una mermelada. Usamos para postre y también para, para langostinos, para pescado, o sea, va con todo. So imagine a tamale wrapped in a banana leaf and the two main ingredients are a native Panamanian fruit called, what is it again, que es el fruto? Pixbae o chontaduro. Which is, it's, imagine the sweetness like a mango, but a hearty consistency, almost like a nut, a peanut, if you will. And that's served with a free range chicken, very rich. You can really tell the difference between something that's been brought up in this kind of environment and something that you might find in a normal average commercial sort of restaurant. If you've heard of bakla, you might imagine it as your typical Greek dessert. Well, not here. It seems that what they're doing is they're imagining a, imagine a langostino baklava. Langostino is like an enormous shrimp that they're wrapping in a phyllo dough with the spicy jalapeno to give it a really savory sort of gourmet kick. So that introduces just a few of the many courses that we may dine on tonight. Uh, Chef Danny, thank you very much. Okay, un placer. Okay. See you at dinner.